Hi guys, I am Mag and this is my son, Sky. That's right. Now we're going to read you a story today for... Save Your Stories Mind. That's right. And the story that we've actually picked for you was written by Gail Featherstone and illustrated by Molly Jackson. And it's called... Mr. Monty Street. Mr. Monty Street. What do you think Mr. Monty looks like? A monitor lizard. I think he looks like a dinosaur. I know the answer. But can you see what is this fruit? Durian. That's right. So it's got something to do with the durian. Okay, stay tuned to the end to find out what Mr. Monty is. Mr. Monty really is. Look at this picture. How beautiful is that? This is Mr. Monty and he's surrounded by hibiscus. That's right. Now, Mr. Monty is not a bad animal but he often makes mistakes. So it is good that Mrs. Monty and their three children, Sizzy, Ozzy, and Baby Lizzie, are so kind and clever. So this is Mrs. Monty, Baby Lizzie, Ozzy, and Sizzy. That's right. So now we know the family, right? There's four of them. So one day, for example, Mr. Monty decided to buy a durian as a treat for the family. He walked to the fruit seller's van at the end of the street and chose the most delicious durian he could find. See, exactly like all the durian vendors here in Malaysia in their little lorry. And he's buying Durian King. I don't like durian. It's not nice. It is delicious. He carried it back to the family and held it up for everyone to see. Look what I bought for you all for tea, he said proudly. Yummy, shouted Sizzy and Ozzy together. We love durian. Mm, mm, mm. But Mr. Monty suddenly thought of a problem. What if the durian isn't right, he said to himself. Perhaps I should try a piece just to check. He went into the kitchen to look for a knife to cut up the durian. Mr. Monty did often go into the kitchen, so he didn't know where to look. Mrs. Monty! He shouted. He was a little bit cross. Where are the knives? He said. In the knife drawer, dear, said Mrs. Monty. After Mr. Monty had cut up the durian, with a little help from Mrs. Monty, of course, he popped a slice into his mouth and just, just to check. And oh, was that durian so, so delicious that he had to try another very little bit more. And oh, that piece was even more delicious than the first. So he tried another piece and another piece and another piece just to decide if the durian was right. Finally, Mr. Monty was sure that the durian was just right for Mrs. Monty and the children to eat. But oh dear, when he looked at the plate of the durian, there was no more left. He had eaten it all. See, but a very contented Mr. Monty. Very contented. But now he's eaten everything, so what will the children eat? Someone. At that moment, all the children walked into the kitchen. Where's the durian? asked Sizzy. Daddy's eaten it. Grown Ozzy, all gone, moaned Lizzie. Oh no, the children are not very happy. It's such a shame, children, sighed Mr. Monty. That was the most amazingly delicious durian I've ever tasted. I'm sorry there isn't any left for you to eat. I'll buy you another one soon. Well, he will, hopefully. Mr. Monty was now feeling very full and tired, so he decided to lie down and have a sleep. Soon, he was snoring. Very loudly at that, too. Mrs. Monty quietly closed the bedroom door. Oh, Mummy, said Sissy sadly, he ate all our durian. All of it, cried Ozzy. None left, sighed Sizzy. Lizzie. The, du the durian. <laughs> Mr. Monty's children aren't very happy. See? They're not very happy. Oh, the guy pointed. <laughs> Don't that worry, is... my darlings, whispered Mrs. Monty. Come into the kitchen. But please, be very quiet. 
So Sizzy, Ozzy, and baby Lizzie crept into the kitchen. You want to know why? Mrs. Mrs. Monty kept some durian. So Mrs. Monty, while helping Mr. Monty cut up the durian, actually kept some for herself and her children. How wise is Mrs. Monty? When Mr. Monty woke up, he went into the sitting room where the three lizard children were watching The Lizard Factor on TV. Then, Lizzie burp. Burp. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry that I ate all the durian, said Mr. Monty. And he really was very sorry, for he is not a bad animal. The children then all gave him a hug. That's all right, Daddy, said Sizzy. We forgive you, small Aussie. Love you, said Lizzie. Oh, see, they gave the Daddy a hug. But does Mr. Monty even know why? Then Mr. Monty sniffed the air. Hmm, that's funny, he said. I can still smell that delicious durian. Mrs. Monty smiled to herself. How very strange, dear, she said. And Lizzie burped again. <laughs> so there you go. The okay. end of Mr. Monty. Okay, the answer for what Mr. Monty is, is right here. So at the end of the page. Mr. Monty. Um, Mr. Monty is a monitor lizard. There are many different types of monitor lizards. Some can grow up to 3 meters in length. And they are quite common in Malaysia. And there's dur facts about durian and hibiscus. So it's a very beautiful story. And I like the local taste in the story as well. And it tells you a lot about uh, what the story is about too. Whether it's a monitor lizard or the durians or the hibiscus flower. We hope you enjoyed our story. So, yeah. For more details on why we're doing Safe with Stories, MY, read below. Stay home, stay safe. Have fun. Take care. Bye-bye.